had a friend years ago that used to say that I was an embellisher. So I think I'm an embellisher. Well, it's like I've embellished this house by adding things, by collecting. And also I love this house because it's old and I like the fact that it's over 200 years old. I used to buy a lot of things when I would see them, but I'd always know where it was gonna go in the house before I bought it. I'm drawn to them because they have something that speaks to you that you don't know why it speaks to you, but it does. I really don't have any more space. My dream is to live in a modern house with nothing, but I don't know how that will happen. <laughs> This is the photograph. I was a creative kid. Yes, it was my escape, was to be creative. By creating something, by working with my hands, it just makes everything go away. I went to the museum school in Boston for five years, and then I got a traveling scholarship, and I went to Europe for a year, and I didn't want to go back to Boston, so I went to New York. I was working for House and Garden magazine, and that's how I moved to Providence, because I did a job here, and I thought, well, Providence is a perfectly lovely place. I mean, I had a business of making accessories and clothing for years, and then I did a lot of decorating, and I also had a store on Green Street. I would take antiques, I would embellish them, I would make lamps. That was great for two years, but I, I don't know. I just hated being a shopkeeper. I wanted to go back to doing my own art, and I wanted not to have to feel that there was anything inhibiting me, you know, that I could just be myself. When someone asks me what I do, I guess I have to say that I'm an artist. And then they want to be specific about what you do, and I do so many things. And the reason I do so many things is I get bored. This is a piece of kimono fabric. These are pearls that I put on the bottom. Here's a ton of them. Oh, and then this is embroidery, but this is machine embroidery. When I'm working, the, this whole room is just like, it's like one big crayon box and I'm mixing and matching. These are found things that I string on, on leather that I braid. I love braiding. These are pearls. This is all made out of alphabet macaroni that I painted. Doesn't this look like it's been buried for a thousand years, although it's the alphabet? So I thought, ah, flowers and wax. So I just kept dipping these tulips. A lot of the eggs are from my canaries. The nests are just found nests, you know, when they drop out of the trees. And this is a bird that I found in the garden. What I do is, this is really hideous, but I put them in the oven and petrify them. They're dead. <laughs> you have to have more than one. It's sad to have one. I was teaching at Brown and there was a paper making machine um, available in the basement and no one was using it so I would go there and then I started encapsulating these things that I had around like old buttons, old rhinestones in the paper. But I mean it's beautiful how the wax went over the paper and it's, it's like this beautiful texture. When the paper dried I didn't like that it didn't have that quality of wetness and that's when I dipped it in the beeswax. This is a glow-in-the-dark rosary in here. I had these teddy bears that belonged to the dogs, and I just thought, I gotta do something with these. There's just too many of them. First, I thought I would dip them in plaster and use them to put the jewelry on as display. And then I thought, well, no, that's not gonna work. So I've gone through huge boxes of this very fine paper mache and they just got bigger and bigger and I don't think they're displays for the jewelry anymore but I don't know until I finish them but I like that that's what I like about working is that you don't know where something's gonna go and 
I never did anything on the wheel. I mean, I couldn't do it. It was so foreign to me. So hand-built things were always not, and I loved just banging the clay around, punching holes in it. These are my little mini oceans. It's porcelain, and actually to use porcelain is not ideal because it cracks, but I just love the feel of porcelain. It's very soft and silky. This is actually my favorite. And I, what I did was I put some silver leaf on here to emphasize it, and now it's tarnished. This is all done through the Clay Studio in Philadelphia. I am doing an installation for NSICA, which is the National Clay Conference. And I spent two months here making these bones and crosses in preparation for this installation. I had never heard of the Eastern State Penitentiary. There it was, and I looked it up, and I spent a whole day just looking and researching about the penitentiary, and it really spoke to me. And the fact that it was built on what had been a cherry orchard, the Quakers started it, and they had these cells that were really small, and everybody was isolated. And the window on top of the cell was supposed to be the eye of God and there was terrible torture. Death and decay is, is a big part of my own work, and I think about death a lot. I also think about incarceration because we all incarcerate ourselves in, in ways. So I had cherry trees, and I had bones and crosses, and I used 3,000 pounds of clay <laughs> to do this installation, and I was the first one to ever do an installation in the garden. Repetition to me is heaven. So, and also like with the bones, you know, I did thousands of them, but you know, doing thousands of them, I always think there's gonna be one that's gonna be really great. So I keep going, that keeps you going. And that's why it's like, I don't know if I'll ever do anything that I'm satisfied with because I just, you know, I have to keep going. You know, you can do all this stuff, but you need to sell it, you know? And I need to sell it. I mean, money becomes an issue. I just sort of want to go out like I came in without any fanfare. I'm more concerned with the everyday, having a nice life, living your life in a good way, so that's what you can do about people remembering you, you know? That's short, but what you can do right now is, is long.